working. It's songs in the key of funny, mixing music and comedy. It's like everything you could wish for. It's like an opera singer covered in bees. It's like hearing your favorite song while you eat your favorite cheese. It's funny songs and funny stories. It's songs in the key of funny. Funny songs and the stories behind them. Uh, welcome back to Songs in the Key of Funny. I'm your host, as always, Kristen Key. With me, my lovely co-host with the mo-host, Sean Fisher to my left. Thank you, thank you. He's Hi. the Gabrielle to my Zena, Ding. the Willow to my Buffy. That's right. The Screech to my Zach Morris. Ooh. I think everybody knows what we're talking about. Yeah. He does fun things with his mouth. Uh, we've got a great episode today. Our guest today is going to be Jason Love sitting here in the middle. Uh, we are coming to you. Yes! So excited! Coming to you from Flappers Comedy Club in beautiful Burbank, California, where game shows go to have children. Um, and Flappers Comedy Club has comedy so often you'll forget it's even going on. If you haven't taken in a show here, it's fantastic. Agreed. So come to Flappers Comedy Club and see their comedy, and we are so thankful to get to have the podcast right here. Uh, look for me this weekend in San Antonio, Texas at the Improv Comedy Club. Um, and uh, I know I had one more thing to mention this week. Oh, yes. Please subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. Subscribe and review it. And if you review the podcast, Songs in the Key of Funny, on iTunes, we will read your reviews and we will give you <sighs> shout outs Ooh, on the show. We should do it in like a song version. Actually, yeah. First person to leave a review, good or bad, will get their own song. <laughs> Because we like songs here at Songs in the Key of Funny. Every week we like to pay tribute to uh, people like Jason Love, our musical comedians working today. But we also like to tip our hats to musical comedians from the past that paved the way for us that are working today. So we like to have a classic song of the week each week. This week, because your name, Jason Love, is Jason Love, I thought, <laughs> why not have a love song? Oh. And so I scoured the cockles of my memory banks, and uh, I and and then I went to the computer because I couldn't think of any. Not a lot of songs about love. No, no songs about love out there. <laughs> that are that funny, you know. And what's great about the computer and uh, some great musical comedians databases is that I found something I hadn't heard before, and it hit a few things that I really like. I love the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Nice. Uh, One of my favorite characters from Hitchhiker's Guide, yeah, is uh, Marvin. The yeah. paranoid android, yeah, <laughs> and I I saw that there was there were several songs written about this this uh, character, and one of them was actually written by the man that voiced uh, Marvin the paranoid hmm. android, um, whose name I failed to write down. I believe it's somebody Spencer. Oh boy, I gotta look that up. Steve. Steven Spencer. Spencer. Let's let's look it up later. Maybe more. I'm not child. sure. Anyway, he did the voice for uh, Marvin the Paranoid Android for the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy original uh, TV show and radio program, and he wrote uh, he wrote a few songs, one being um, Marvin, I Love You. Aww. And we're going to play uh, our version yeah. of Marvin, I Love You, just different enough to where we're going to avoid some copyright infringements, copyright infringements, but pay tribute, copyright infringements, but pay tribute to uh, this great comedy love song. Let's do it. Long ago, in another galaxy, there lived a gloomy robot. His name was Marvin, he was getting old. A little bit rusty and nobody liked him. One day it'd be him very bored, he thought it would be a good idea to tidy up his old programs. In his dusty old data banks, there were tapes in there he hadn't played for years. And checking him through, he accidentally pushed the wrong button. And suddenly he heard Marvin, I love you Marvin, I love you Remember, I'm programmed for you I know we're a world apart Still you couldn't break my heart Loving you is all that I can do One more time Stephen Moore and Stephen Alan Moore. and Alan Rickman voiced it in the Hitchhiker's Guide film. 
But that was Marvin, I Love You by Marvin the Paranoid Android. And that makes it this week's Classic Song of the Week. 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 That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, like Jason. You are. Yeah. <laughs> You're right in the middle of, uh, of, of our podcast, and you are going to make it magical today. Welcome, Jason yeah. Love. I'm so excited welcome, to have you on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know, I know. I'm so excited because I know you. It's like uh, with that part in, in uh, Elf. I know I him. Know him. <laughs> I know I, Finally, a guest I know. <laughs> I, have, I totally dig the beatbox. And a white guy. Beatbox. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh. The novelty. Yeah. <laughs> He's white on the inside, and <laughs> he's got a beatbox. He's got a beatbox robot center. He really does. <laughs> There's just like open it up. It's Marvin just operating a bunch <laughs> of levers. Like sadly, uh. when just, I was tuning oh. up and I heard you guys just kind of toying with that, I thought you had like a, a loop or something. And I look up and yeah. it's just, this guy just. Rocking. Thank you, man. He made it on the show. He was a guest, and then I think it was episode four. Yeah, I Dalton. think so. And I asked him. I said, "Don't ever leave." And, <laughs> and I was kind of half kidding. Yeah. And he never did. <laughs> and now it's my show. <laughs> um, I wanna, cause I I've known you as a stand-up for years, and but I don't know very much about your music except for that I've heard really good things. So. Right off the bat, will you play? I've heard um, I've heard good things about uh, you have a uh, a, music, a kid song, children's yeah. songs. Well, yeah. So yeah. And eat the mic because we don't. I think I, know, I can't hear it very off. well. I got the, yeah. The straight stand going. I'm gonna just hunch over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So no, I've been. Uh, you know, I just I have a nephew. He's five years old, and oh. sometimes we watch him and stuff. And I hear all this kids music, and it drives me nuts because I start listening to like the songs on the radio, and it feels like they're just ripping them off from existing kids songs. So I, <laughs> I, I, I toy with this. Uh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. You spin me right. <laughs> Round baby, right round. Good, good baby, right round, round, round. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. <laughs> Hop along if you know what <laughs> happiness means to you. Happy, 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 happy. Good percussion, damn. Thanks. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It ain't warm when she's away. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. The guys in the band are like, dude, I don't think he does know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. I know. It's a children's song Ain't no sunshine when she's gone Yeah! yeah. Oh, I'm never going to hear any of those songs the same <laughs> way again. <laughs> I'll tell you what, with you two like chiming in, can we all travel together? We can't help it. We've gotten where we just can't help it. This is gonna be like a partridge family, like we just keep like yeah. adding, someone's <laughs> like, I'm mean on the tambourine. <laughs> Sunshine day. That's right. Everybody has just have to play something all the time. <laughs> so what came first, comedy or music? What did you feel in your soul deep down in the pits of your Jason loviness. I know. Well, you know, the, the thing is, like, laughter and music are the things that bring everyone together. So I kind of, yeah. you know, I didn't have the guts to, like, I don't play like you do. Like, I, I just know what I know from having played over the years. But, um, you know, I just, I, they came together. I started doing both at the same time. I love it. And how long have you been doing stand-up? Where did this all begin? Uh, I think, like, eight years now. So I've, I've been playing guitar since I was a kid, but it was all, like, hippie music. I went to UC Santa Cruz, so it was around the camp. I heard that's a party school. <laughs> <laughs> the guys playing hacky sack. Like, Do they even teach classes there? No, I don't in know. hacky sack. Yeah, I got my yeah. doctorate in hack, man. <laughs> guys are yeah, coming in on hacky sack scholarships. <laughs> <laughs> I get my PhD if I can get that stall down. The, the mascot is a banana slug at uh, UC Santa Cruz. Are you, ser are you serious? For, for oh, real. <laughs> like even I was the like, found oh, come on. Yeah, even the founding members were just stoned. Like, no, seriously, man. The Why banana be a lion? slug. What is it? Why be a lion? Why he could be a slug? We could be we could be a <laughs> banana slug. Nobody's doing it. <laughs> they don't even shout go. It's like do what you want. <laughs> Be free! We're here just for support. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, man. Yeah, they had co-ed dorms, uh, like way before. What? Yeah. yeah. And bathrooms. My yeah. niece is not going there. No. <laughs> she want to no. go there? Well, if she would 
Never mind. We can't. Huge into banana yeah. slugs. Yeah. <laughs> Not into banana slugs. <laughs> My mom still thinks I'm dorms. Co-ed dorms, co-ed That's bathrooms, crazy. showers, yeah, very co-ed bath, hippy dippy, mm. yeah, man. I said, I think co-ed bathrooms were just a horrible thing to do to women. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's gross. For most yeah. dudes. Yeah. I've yet to have that. Although, experience. if you needed to do a number two, I would rather there were like two other men doing number two. So it'd be like I could like hide in the privacy of yeah. two men, men's like it was them. <laughs> I've, I've yet to have an experience where like it, there's been a lot of bathrooms recently where it's like whatever your gender is, use the bathroom. But yeah. I've yet to have an experience where I've gone into the bathroom when somebody with with the opposite gender is in there yet. Yeah. But I'm dreading that moment man That's you carefully chose your words there Sean <laughs> thank you <laughs> it was very I was like I think these are the right words I yeah. don't know they but see the thing about a women's bathroom is when a woman goes into a stall you don't know what she's doing no but if a guy goes into a stall like it only means one thing we don't I know. got a couple friends that they're only sit down peers I'm men's a down, I'm a sit down peer so when you go in there you don't know what you're doing either well yeah <laughs> well, then they, they see my frosted tips and they're like yeah we don't know what he's doing in there. from underneath <laughs> <laughs> they're tapping and their feet underneath to get my <laughs> <laughs> really old. You can illusion. make a senator friend. You got it. I just assume that anyone tapping their foot has got to be high senator. up politically. <laughs> Can't just be another guy trying to meet a man. It's definitely like a, a power move for yeah. sure. Yeah. Reaching under the your stall into somebody else's stall that takes a level of confidence. It does. Do men do that? For, for paper, for like for toilet paper, would you ever ask a no. man? Spare I've a never square had bro? somebody ask me. I think, in my own experience, I just sacrifice a sock or an underwear or something, and I'm just like, we're leaving without this. I think it's I think it's rude for somebody just to come into the stall next to you. Yeah, you know, like that's not on the menu. Like you should be waiting. Yep. Or put a buffer zone in. It makes me uncomfortable how much space there is between the door and the wall where you're like, oh, there's a person in there for sure. <laughs> Hi. Like, right. I, I think Sean's looking too closely. I spend a lot of time thinking about public <laughs> bathrooms. I travel a lot, so I just find if you put your headphones in and turn the music up real loud, you can do whatever you want in there. <laughs> Even sing along. <laughs> That's right. It's when you forget that your headphones in and you're like farting along to the music on a plane, that'll farting get you in trouble. Farting along to the music? But yeah, you forget your headphones are in, you're just like, you think everybody can hear the music, and then you're like, it was just me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what did you major in? Did you... I'm, I'm sorry, I, 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 if you mentioned it, I missed it. No, I majored in English. Okay, yeah. handy. Handy. For a career in musical com would comedy. Would you like fries with that? Question mark. <laughs> My mom still thinks I'm a lawyer, so that's the important thing. I hope she doesn't listen to this I was podcast. About to say. <laughs> so were you going to be a lawyer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's yeah. just real hopeful. Yeah, I majored in, I finished too. I majored in English, I minored in psychology, and I got it all taken care of. And then I go, you know, I just don't want to do any of that. <laughs> wow, I don't like, even, yeah, what do you I do speak, with that? I don't know, when I, when I, I, was, I worked in a cubicle for like a summer, and I was, I was so, like you could still see like my scratch marks just <laughs> like a caged animal. <laughs> like I was literally like, I had to be medicated for that time, yeah. so. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, English and psychology, that's music. Or at least that's applicable to music, I would think. You know? Well, I spent more time playing music than I did studying, that's nice. for sure. <laughs> I always love that, where you're like, I'm here for this, but I end up spending so much more of my time doing this. Yeah. Maybe I'm a this instead. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you can go to Santa Cruz, and they're still like into Led Zeppelin and Jim Morrison. Oh, like, cool. they're just kind of trapped in time that the whole... <laughs> they, they're still listening to the dead. Like, it's, you know, they're hippies that never... We're part of the 60s. So it's oh, like yeah. Santa Cruz and a lot of the Midwest would have that in common, yeah. if nothing else. Really? Oh, Their playlist would be the same. Wow. Yeah. Grateful Dead and all. Grateful Dead, Zeppelin, and then, and then of course, they can't talk about anything else. <laughs> Do yeah. you think that's because those states were the ones where, like, the Grateful Dead were like, yeah, we're going to play every single one of these states. <laughs> I like, think what does like it jam matter, bands, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're married, right? Yeah. Married? Did you, uh, how long after college did you meet your lovely? Well, I'm just assuming she's lovely. You can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> like, she, she is whole oh, You person. would describe her as a <laughs> Yeah, she's all right. You know, I take her, take her or leave her. No, she's, she is lovely. She's, she's 
if she makes, I can't, I, when I see comics go on the road and they've got nothing to come home to or no one to come home to, yeah. doesn't that seem so? It seems real sad. It does? We're both married. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We touch wedding rings every day. Yeah. Ding, rings of power. Wonder twin yeah. power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine if you had to go on the road and kind of put up with all of that and then come home to like an empty house. Oh, if there are any stand-ups listening right now that are alone, you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> you're okay. You can keep okay. going. You're all right. They're going to give you free nachos tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I met Hello, her. darkness, my <laughs> 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 I feel like every comic is like <laughs> one bad comment away from like hanging themselves in a hotel. You know, so, so don't say that. Just, you'll be okay, buddy. You're okay. Maybe the feature act will die and you'll get bumped up. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. That's happened in a couple cities. There was a city, I was in Houston, and uh, this was like what ten or eleven years ago. And I was like, hey, who was your last week? They're like, oh, the feature hung himself. I was oh, like, oh, the real? opener got bumped up, huh? And they were like, yeah, he was stoked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, cutthroat. Yep. Man. I don't know. It's but yeah, it seems like it would. it's a lot better to have someone to go <laughs> home to. Yeah. When, I'm, when I do a cruise ship, I don't even get off the port. I just stay connected as best I can oh, so yeah. I don't jump off the back. <laughs> I, I spent 140 bucks on internet the last yeah. week, one week on uh, whatever it was. They it's charge you by hard. the megabyte. Yeah. That's like selling somebody cans of air. Here's another. Yeah. Right. Give me 700. While you're Give holding me. them underwater. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like any interest. I had a submission last cruise, and uh, so I had to like. I had to upload something, uh, and so it was a really, it was a rough day. They were charging by the megabyte? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> like, Royal Caribbean, Kristen, unlimited. Oh. Broadband. I don't, I don't control who I get booked by. Uh, yeah. It's going to be okay, Kristen. It's okay. <laughs> She'll probably get nachos tonight. Yeah. Just don't hang yourself, because I don't know if I can take responsibility of being main host for this show. <laughs> Not looking for it. She's gone? All right. <laughs> you got to learn, you gotta learn <laughs> the guitar. <laughs> got to learn banjo shit. You can make mouth noises of guitar. I can. Bass is definitely way easier. Let me, let's hear that. I got yeah. it. So like, if it, like a bass, because it's just like... Doom, boom, doom, boom, doom, boom, doom. Oh no, it's era, 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 era. He's teaching. He teaches us. We're spinning a cat, just like era, era. You teach us, yeah. Well, each week, and we usually wait till longer, but we can start our lesson early. You want to learn a little? You want to learn? We don't do any of this thing on the show without a bumper. <laughs> Learning stuff about hip hop, teach us something, Sean. Learning stuff about hip hop, teach us something, Sean. <laughs> cool. All right, well, welcome to my little corner of the podcast, guys. Uh, so, yeah, so today we're going to learn. Uh, I essentially, each week, we I teach you a little beatboxing thing, uh, and then we do like a song, and you can either beatbox during that song, sing during that song, rap during that song, do gibberish stuff during that song. Uh, but yeah, so you leave with more knowledge than you came in with. Um, so, today is all about tongue clicks. Tongue clicks. That makes sense. I was listening to you before the show. So <laughs> the green room has a video camera in here, and so oh, when yeah. you think you're by yourself, I was in the green room putting on makeup, <laughs> just hearing you, and I was like, what? Is he doing? <laughs> because they also thought if he worked for the DMV and did that all day long, like whoever was in the cubicle next to you oh. would be like, I want to make a Warm. formal complaint against Sean. My <laughs> wife has like a, like she has like a put her hand on my knee moment when she's like, okay, I don't think you realize how much you've been doing this over the last hour and a half, <laughs> but I'm trying to watch TV and I'm just like, it's a, like a, Tourette. unconscious, yeah, yeah, like a Tourette's yeah. thing now. It's terrible for other people. <laughs> It is awesome that it's coming out of you, man. Well, thanks, man. <laughs> and I can thanks. tell you that this is not going to turn out well for me. You got this. No, you never no. know. You, you never, never know. know. This could be. This could be the day <laughs> that you found out that this. This is what you were meant to this do. This is in the life. key that this unlocks is, yeah. it all. Oh, uh, right. But yeah, so tongue clicks are actually pretty easy, right? Uh, we mostly know them like if you've ever done like, right? Just mm. like uh, the suction of your tongue it. against yeah. the roof of your mouth. We're pros. Cool. So, uh, now if you think most instruments, right, they have like some sort of opening where the sound comes out of. And with Mine does. Uh, beatboxing, that's your mouth. So if you change the shape of the valve, you actually change the shape of the sound as well. So if I'm going... Yeah, so you get a lot of versatility <laughs> even out of just one mechanism. Um, in addition, you can also uh, play with uh, melody, right? So if I'm going like...
<laughs> I'm making a nature sound CD. Love it. Yeah. This is the dodo in its <laughs> natural environment. <laughs> There's another bird like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you make some bird horny right now. <laughs> All the birds <laughs> listen. All our bird audience, real sorry. <laughs> that's not a dodo. Uh, but yeah, so that's the that's the front of the tongue against the roof of the mouth, right? But you also have uh, the side of the tongue, right? So you can go like that sound. Like, like, you know, if you, like, girl? point your fingers. Picking up chicks. Hey. hey. That, like, creepy dude. Like, like, Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that is the name of this sound. <laughs> it's, it's the wine sound. Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, when we named it that, all of a sudden, both of your sounds became so much better. <laughs> Help this. Want to watch me shower? <laughs> <laughs> Got any spare house plants? <laughs> Don't go near that plant right there. Don't go near that plant. <laughs> But yeah, so when I'm uh, beatboxing... It's a rubber tree. A rubber tree. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey, you. Oh, man. So when I'm beatboxing, a lot of times uh, there's the percussion element, which is all happening like in the mouth, and then there's the melody element, which is all like hum sounds, essentially. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it frustrates me, because you can make multiple noises at once. My mouth doesn't do that. You like, can? Oh. Yeah, so I can go... <laughs> God, that kills me, man. It kill <laughs> Eric Schwartz can do that too, where Eric he's got Schwartz. like his nose. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> and the rest of us can go. Swing that cat now, era, era, Eric. That's the Weinstein. <laughs> So yeah, so the reason I ended up uh, picking up tongue clicking sounds and adding it to my repertoire was because <laughs> repertoire, or repertoire. repertoire <laughs> is because I would have to make like percussion like K sounds like k -k -k -k. but in doing that you are actually uh, crossing the streams between your hum instrument and your percussion instrument. So I started learning tongue clicks because that way I can still make a lot of like percussion sounds without it affecting my hum muscle. So instead of going <laughs> I go boom zoom boom zoom boom 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 zoom boom zoom boom Nope, it's can't. Nice There's something in your nose. So here's My what I'm gonna do. Stop moving. Can hypnotize an audience, man. Uh, like, <laughs> give me all your money. <laughs> I feel like all of our listeners, I think, do what we're doing. It's where we're like, we're like, yeah, now I'll try it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth's broken, Sean. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay down a, a beat that you guys can do these sounds over. And so you're just the accent beats. No worries. Okay. About... All, all I learned was the clock. Yep. I'll do the dodo. Or, or the, I'll do the Weinstein. You do the dodo. Hey, <laughs> cool. So you got the Weinstein or the dodo. This is how these things get named, by the way, too. What about the spacey? <laughs> The spacey. The spacey. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I was just listening to that on the way over. <laughs> that's the Sam, era. That's the real, real, real. I've been real. saying stuff about Kevin Spacey since he was about this Really? High. No, that's a bad joke. <laughs> did, did you see Netflix like totally yeah. ousted He's him? He's done. He's, He's done. done. He's gone. These guys are just getting run out, man. That's all right. It's a bad it's all right. Be a creepy guy. They're draining the swamp of Hollywood. Did <laughs> they that's just right. change the name of his show to House of Boys? <laughs> <laughs> Rock to the hey, Fox, right. ladies and gentlemen. That's Rock to the Fox. Now it's on Crackle. They're like, we'll take anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, so I'm going to do a beat, and then you can do either the Weinstein or the Dodo right. for that beat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and do we have uh, ooh, someone got an email uh, do we want to turn this into like a song or just an instrumental I knew, Roxy come let's do an instrumental first so we can practice our mouth sounds and Sweet. then Roxy scour and see if we have any uh, suggestions yet in this while we're practicing mouth sounds people that are watching at home on Facebook live give us a suggestion for a freestyle rap that Jason and I can attempt okay Come along, you totally can if that makes you more comfortable. <laughs> she coughed up a hairball. 
can we uh, just to practice the freestyle to get comfortable freestyling? Sure. Can we do that one where we don't make words? Oh, the gibberish one? Yeah. Absolutely. What so were we doing right there? Wasn't that freestyle? <laughs> That's mouth sounds, which I. If there was a subject in comedy school that I'm getting an F in so Mouth far, sounds. It's, it's boots and cats. Needs improvement. Yeah, you I can, need improvement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his job. You could totally teach this at UC Santa Cruz, man. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm the, the, the new slugs major. The would flock to you. Very there. slowly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so gibberish rap. That essentially, I, do, I throw a beat down, and you just practice, like, making sounds with your face. So if I was doing face. it over this, if I'd be like... Okay, the water nail roll a later song. My needle over rate of mother really don't. Save on the bottles on my way to ladies. Stop banana mother mother made it. Shot my foot up with baby bop and weedy. See a bop put up a name of Gabonini. Wow, bottom, I said a water mother get on. Bop, I said a mop, bottom, bottom, bottom get on. Bop, bop, bo say bop, my name, my bottom pay. Say bottom, a man, a man, a name it Get a butter, 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 get a butter,
Birds of work. Sometimes we have better hooks than others. That's birds of word. Come on. Birds of the word. Yeah. For you at home, that just popped up on a screen right now, <laughs> <laughs> and these guys just rocked it. We're like, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. That was fun. It's like I the liked it. it's like the set list for music. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Well, there's gotta be. There's gotta. Be, I mean, there's always something to to. Sing about. <laughs> it's always it's like a musical. Yeah, for me, improv songs is just like, what is the sort of like word cloud around this idea? And if that's all I got at the start, then I just do essentially pun equivalent of being like, here's a thing that's a bird. Yeah. But past that, a lot of it for me is also trying to find whatever question or observation I'm asking or making. You wrote a song like that, though, didn't you? Yeah. For... Shit. Okay. <laughs> I mean, solid yeah. segue. My my parents are proud. <laughs> you know what? You, they say write what you know. They You're say right. write what you know. I know shit. That's pretty much it. <laughs> well, I don't know shit, so I'm very. Excited. You know what? Teach us. Teach okay, us, well, Jason. Love. So this, I was at Santa Cruz, and I was sitting around, and the guy was telling a story at a party, and he goes, "I shit you not." <laughs> and so we sat around, and uh, <laughs> we talked about all the different uses of the word shit, Kristen, and <laughs> which you know it's a kind of versatile word. You can give a shit, take a shit, shoot the shit, talk shit, feel like shit, be the shit, know your shit, eat shit, or more specifically, eat shit. And and die. <laughs> no beatbox. There's good shit. Holy shit. Horse shit. Bullshit. Crazy shit. Funky shit. And no shit. Sherlock. Shit Sherlock. Things could go to shit or not be worth a shit in the first place. If you get your shit together, you could have a shitload, a heap of shit, a crock of shit. Or just a bunch of crap. Would you believe there's more, Kristen? <laughs> I can't. I you can't. can't. There I is. Can do it. You can more. be a dip shit, dumb shit, little shit, chicken shit, tough shit, hot shit, or just have shit for brains. <laughs> That's when you don't know jack shit. Or shit from Shinola. You're just a shithead. SOL, up shit's creek. May as well go ape shit, get shit faced, cause a shit storm. So as you can see, it's lots of different kinds of shit on a different day. Shit happens. It's one big shit list. <laughs> <laughs> I've I never heard it. them all at once before. That's the most fun I've ever had doing that, you yeah. guys. Thank you. Thank My you. God, we say shit and everything. Everything is shit. Give a shit, take a shit. <laughs> Like, give every, a penny, take a penny. Every time I do it, I have like three people come up with three more shit things. I'm like, no, this song's gone on long enough. It is complete. <laughs> it yeah, is complete. You can take your shit and leave. Yeah, you one dude. Leave. <laughs> There's another one. You added to it. Go dare. shit in your she hat. I, have yeah. a, I need a third verse now. <laughs> shit. I love it. And uh, in your, where did that, in, in the course of writing your comedy music, where did that come in like had you been writing it for a while had you been written, writing comedy music for a while and then that one came along or was that pretty early on uh that was pretty early on i was traveling with craig shoemaker and i just yeah had, you know i felt like i <laughs> i needed to just close with something other than you know because most of my stuff's kind of just i'm goofing on myself and now it's all about my wife and being the metrosexual guy and i gotta fix things and <laughs> there's a rat and you know all of that but I'd, I'd like. Wait, I'd, wait, you have a rat? We had a rat. Let's it's, talk about the rat oh for a second. Oh, my God, I've, Christian. We've, we've gone through this as a couple before. <sighs> have you? Sean's a newlywed. He hasn't okay. had a rat yet. Uh, I did in New York. I had a mouse, not a rat. Rats but are different. What's yeah. the difference? Yeah. Well, mouses are like tiny, and rats are freaking huge. Oh, but so New York rats, like, I've had a couple, like, weave in between my legs, and I'm like, I uh, hate life right now. Uh, <laughs> It was the most disgusting thing I've ever, in my whole life, like, I was like wrenching and, what do you call that? Retching. Retching. Yeah. Ren wrenching and retching. Wrenching. I, was 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was wrenching. I was soldering. <laughs> I was hammering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I had to to kill this rat. Like, just having to kill him, you know. I'm like, I'm setting this death trap, and I'm twisting my mustache. <laughs> 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 what trap did you buy? Because I know was, that's uh, so. I went to the the Home yeah. Depot where I really fit in with my man bag. <laughs> oh, you look like a lesbian. That's yeah, I do. <laughs> we could be brothers, is yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> or sisters, either way, whichever. Yeah, right. Whichever way you want to look at it. Yeah, so that's how I feel in Home Depot, like uh, <laughs> like a sister. 
Yeah, but they're all wearing aprons, so. That's true. There's, there's they that. know you're not one of them. But he told me that I got to put bacon on it. Like, that's the thing that's going to get them. Like, <laughs> I feel like that'll call more rats. Rats love but... bacon? Yeah, he said bacon's the okay. way to go. So I'm at home cooking for it now. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter. They love peanut butter. It's so gross. But I got peanut butter is what I use. I've heard yeah. peanut butter. Yeah. 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 So here's that's exactly what I did. I put peanut butter, banana, or peanut butter, bacon, and cheese, and I squished you it all. You made it a sandwich. I made him a sandwich. I wake up the next a morning. He picked it clean. The whole the trap never went off. No, nothing there. I should have put a glass of wine next to it. There you go. He's got like little tools, and yeah. he's like coming down from the ceiling, <laughs> Mission, Mission Impossible, Impossible style, <laughs> just like like Mr. <laughs> Houdini rat, man. But what, ha- what ended up happening when we got him is we half killed him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and no. so he was he was skidding out in the kitchen, and I, I still have this horrible, dark thing inside my heart for having done that. And I didn't know what to do with him. I couldn't, What did you do? I, I let him bleed out in the backyard. Oh, I, did, I, couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to bonk him on the head, nope. so I just closed my eyes. La, 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 la. Do you want to go away for the weekend, honey? <laughs> Yep. Oh, yeah, it was so it was hot. Oh. I think we've I think anybody married long enough has been there. We we had the same experience. It was on our back porch, half dead rat, uh. di- very cute looking, like one of the cute ones with the white belly, uh. white belly brown on top, and just did you dis- name him? No, disgusting <laughs> until it's like. I know. So we went and saw a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it. I tried. And we had I, to go somewhere. We had to leave the house, go to a movie theater. It was like a date because we were yeah. just like, I have to get out of the house. I yeah. can't watch it We just it need die. to let this death happen. I joke around about me being a chick, but it's mostly true. <laughs> like All of the stuff, all the cosmetics I have and everything. But I go, I, I tried to open it up because I was going to bonk him on the head just out of mercy because the thing was on his neck. And as soon as I opened it up, he started swirling. Oh, no, and I, and no. I screamed, ah! Yeah, like yeah. skid marks behind me. I'm like I can't do it, like honey. Like poop. Yeah, yeah. Poop. yeah. Skid, oh, marks. Like skid marks. Skid marks behind him. Yeah. Do you have a song about your wife? I don't. Do you want to write one right now? Yeah. We oh. all three have wives. Nice. Ooh, I have make a book. What is your favorite thing about your wife? Like if you could pick one, or like one of those a good arbitrary topic, kind Sean. of things. You're steering it in the right direction. Bro. Oh, I, I'm a friggin' professional. That's really smart. <laughs> so what's my favorite thing about her? Or something that uh, stands out as unique about her. Hmm. She does Reiki. She's like a good witch. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Are you familiar with Sedona, Arizona? She That's her place, man. Ah, that is her jam right there. I love Sedona, Arizona. Yeah, I hear all year long how she wants to go to Sedona. <laughs> the crystal healers and vortexes yeah, and all that we, kind of we've stuff. Been a, I did crystal some shows healer. up there. <laughs> From Sedona, Arizona. It rhymes already. That's what I love about it too. She's Sedona. a really good witch now. <laughs> really good witch now. Charging up her crystals. Getting ready for the Reiki. Gonna take me on a journey. Really good witch now. <laughs> That's real. <Yeah>, <laughs> what else do you know about your wife? <laughs> That's where I'll give her the Weinstein. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and that plan never <laughs> that grew again. <laughs> <laughs> You just have these uh, melodies going through you, huh? When when the opportunity strikes, yeah, I was like thinking about mine. I'm like, my wife likes to play with Legos. Sometimes she makes banana bread. I love banana bread. But she doesn't like to follow recipes. That would be a problem with me. So last time she forgot the stinking banana. <laughs> That's the main part. All she made was bread. Ironically, it didn't taste like bread. <laughs> da, 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 da. But she's my Lego lady. Oh. Lego lady. She's my Lego From lady. From Indiana. Oh. Not Sedona, Arizona. She's gonna love this, by the way. <laughs> what about you, Sean? What does your wife do? What do I like about my wife? What if I had an existential crisis right now where I was like, oh no? Uh, I like 
Jason's wife. <laughs> you got your guys' wife sounds real cool. Uh, <laughs> ooh, what I like about my wife, 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 the person that I said that I would spend my whole life, 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 life. 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 Here is something when she does it, I say damn. She always finds the coolest stuff on the Instagram. Instagram. Graham, Graham, Yeah, all the stuff that rocks. It rocks, it rocks, it rocks. Like people who own a bunch of fox. Fox, fox, fox. fox. I thought you fox. were gonna say fox. socks. <laughs> socks are great too. Ooh, that is something that's true. She buys them for me in twos. Uh, short or crew. <laughs> Buying you lots of socks now. All of also them Legos. I love those Legos. Love, 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 love. She's a pretty good pretty witch good now. Witch now. I love that you have music just pushing through you. Hey, did you see the 60 Minutes? It was just last night where the yes. girl... Yes! Yes! Yeah, it, it popped did you see on it? for I did once. Not. Okay. No, you, what is you it? You talk no, about you it. No, you tell it. You're the There's host. There's a you girl, know. and she's eight years old? Yeah, uh, eight? eight is six now. or eight, 12 now? Yeah, okay. 12 now. She went from eight to 12. She started composing, yeah. though, when she was like... Which was three. Okay. Yeah. Her parents are both professors wow. for different eight. universities. They're academics. Mm -hmm. And her dad taught her to read music mm -hmm. when she was like three years old. Mm -hmm. Very, very small. Mm -hmm. And he thought he was just an amazing teacher. <laughs> he was he like, yeah, he was like, I just thought I was such a good teacher. Your kid want to learn how to read yeah. music? I can give, give food. Because she's just, she was incredible. She took to it. And then he realized that he had not only this musical prodigy, but as far as a composer goes, yeah. she's not, she just doesn't belong in this era yeah because sure. she's like like i know the word is not mozartian mm, yeah but they're yeah. being they're comparing her with mozart yeah. mozart as wow. far as like the way that she communicates yeah. with music yeah. and yeah. that is the way her brain just works and you could see the music possess her yes yeah and oh, you see it's insane. all her emotions and she's just so cool. like channeling it's, oh, it's awesome my wife pointed out because my wife's uh works in television and uh, she noticed that her eyes were dilated yeah. and even though the the I room was you know, uh -huh. very well lit yeah. in a production room. Her eyes are eyes extremely yeah. dilated. She's on so I wonder if that's just because Santa Cruz. <laughs> 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 I'm a banana slug. <laughs> Whatever Tiger Woods drugs her dad's feeding her is making her a really good composer. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was a really, her name's Alma something German. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is <laughs> German. <laughs> my name is Alma something German. <laughs> or it, it might be uh, uh, Sw Dorfenstein. Swiss or From Austrian, the something right German it, family. I'm not quite sure, but I don't know she was. Almost something, gentlemen. But she had an opera in uh, at eleven yeah. that that just swept through. Um, what was it? It was playing in Vienna, I think. Yeah, right she's now. riffing too, just just like you guys. <laughs> Her riffing was insane. Oh, and I love this part where she took one of um, uh, one of Mozart pieces that has like an improv right. a bit mm -hmm. in credenza, the middle. Yeah, yeah credenza. And she, she talked about it. She's like, his was simple. And it didn't have any key <laughs> changes. So when she plays it, I added some key oh, changes man. and made it more complex. And so the, the man interviewing her says, so you improved on it. And she goes, well, yes. <laughs> but it was like, <laughs> she <laughs> understands music so well to go. She's like, essentially, yeah. if Mozart was in this room right now, he would be like, Damn. I'd call him a yeah. little bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, She's actually British. I play his kind own of music <laughs> against <laughs> him. She? she was British, yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, I like her with a German accent better. <laughs> Alma Deutscher. And Alma is a Spanish yeah. word, right? It's she's Austrian. Austrian. Okay. Yeah, oh, she's Austrian? Austrian? Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's up there. Schwarzenegger. Oh, I'm getting corrected in real time. Alma See, usually Deutsch I get by with my bullshit. All right. <laughs> 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 I don't get by. That's what you love about the internet. They're like, actually. So why does she sound British? Was I, I thought she sounded Aust like oh, did German. I, I bet she does it to sound smarter. <laughs> she's like, that's what Because if needs, someone was like, well, Mozart's smarter. version was very simple. <laughs> <laughs> when I come basically, home. basically, yeah, I did better than Mozart. Like, you wouldn't take her seriously, even if she was playing the oh exact my God. same music. Let's Honey find out if we're musical geniuses. Uh -oh. Everybody, reach into the box and grab uh -oh. yourself an instrument. Cause we're about to play a little game called Musical Instrument Mystery oh. Box. 
All right. Grab your instrument. This is the sound of every instrument being played at once. Sean, you can't play the whole box. What is this? Will you you hand me an instrument, too? Yes, sir. Something I can play with my mouth? (laughs) Can you play the tambourine with your mouth? Yes. Yeah. The tambourine with your mouth? Awesome. Okay. That's real talent, Sean, right there. All right, we'll start with you, Sean. Why'd you choose that instrument, Sean? Why'd you choose that instrument? Can you play that bell on a stick? Can you play that thing? Well, I really do not know what the hell this instrument is. I think it is a bell. But the problem with this bell, I know that is something wrong. It is missing that little part that (laughs) makes it go ding dong. Though all I'm just hoping is that it makes some sound. Or else I'm gonna go ahead and quickly put it down. I think you should grab a different instrument. <laughs> oh wait, here we go. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't All think right. that's I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm committed to it now. I love you, little bell on a stick. All right. Why'd you choose that instrument, Jason? Why'd you choose that instrument? Can you play the bongos, Jason? Can you play them now? Yeah. Okay, I gotta sing now too. Yep. And make it up and stuff. All right. Didn't know I'd be doing this today, folks at home. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks. You're doing great. Okay. I chose this bongos because the bell did not work. <laughs> Have a little foresight. I can't play percussion <laughs> or make a Weinstein with my mouth. I failed every test so far, and that sounds I can't rhyme either. <laughs> Why'd you choose that instrument, Kristen? Why'd you choose that instrument? Can you play the bells on a stick? Can, Can you, you play, play them, them now? <laughs> 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 And that's how you play musical instrument, Mystery Box. That is awesome. And and you started with a sigh, like. (sighs) And let me let me say one thing. I I worked with you like maybe I don't know seven years ago at the Ventura Harbor. I remember. And you did something with you. You grabbed my guitar and you took it on stage. Yeah. And you. I was rude back then. I don't think I asked. Give me your guitar, boy. So Kristen's got my guitar on stage and she was talking to the audience and she goes, you know, some people are weird about you using their guitar, you know, but he was really cool about it and he didn't care about my germs or anything. And then she licked. All, all the, the way, way up the <laughs> side of my guitar. I have no oh, memory of that. That is so funny. Whatsoever. Oh. I think that's a really good the guy indicator who carries, of how much oh, I, I used oh, to drink. I told you in the back. <laughs> I told you in the back. I carried Purell and I had a germ <laughs> thing. That's what it was. And oh, then you you, you licked the whole length of the guitar. You remember that? <laughs> I'm such a jerk. I had a germ oh, you thing. have a you have a problem with people's germs? No, dude. So I licked his whole guitar. <laughs> it was so funny. There go. That's where my uh, hepatitis came from. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I don't know if I should apologize or laugh even harder. No, it was laugh funny. Even harder. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. That's when we met. That's when we that's how we met. That is how we met. You licked my guitar. <sighs> what an exciting day. I'm still so fascinating. I hope by that's the only spell. day I licked a guitar. <laughs> right. Oh my god, is there anything else that you play in your uh I know there's a lot else that you play in your routine. Is there any any other songs that you want to play on the show while we still have a few minutes for originals? This, this is something I've been toying with. Can we do it? Yes! Hell yeah. right. We love it when people right. bring out stuff that's not quite written okay. yet. Okay, so this, well, it's not like a song. It's not like a song that, that you would write. It's kind of like, uh, I just keep it's noticing. Better. <laughs> no. Oh. You guys do, you, your first draft is Hanging better than mine. Your version is simple compared to. <laughs> Hanging in the shower. <laughs> la da da da. Okay, sorry. sorry. Lego Womo. <laughs> So I just been I, I just always hear patterns on, on the radio when I'm listening to the songs. Yeah. And, and so like there are all these. Were you like, playing when the show started? Uh, no, that was Jewel that I was. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of the reason that one was funny to me is she's going another day, another dollar, another war, another tower went up. 
where the homeless have their homes. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, that's adorable, Jewel, where the homeless have their homes. Where the homeless have their homes. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work on stage, <laughs> but it still struck me as funny. I like it. I think it's odd. It's odd. But anyway, okay. so the, the I noticed all these songs about like creepy like guys creeping out around women. We should yeah. call this the Weinstein. This is, oh, yeah. there you go. Like, and it, it goes it all, all the way. It ties around. Yeah, it all goes back. Like, remember Rick, like Rick Springfield? They, you know, it feels so dirty when they start talking cute. Oh, <laughs> like, he's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was, I always felt for Jesse. Like that dude needed his own oh. song. You know. You know, I wish that I had one last friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's an actual song. I was listening to the Beatles station on Sirius XM. Oh yeah. And there was this song, man. It was um, you know, I'd rather see you dead, little girl, than to be with another man. The Beatles. You better run for your life if you can, little girl. Hide your head in the sand, little girl. Catch you with another man. That's the end. Uh, little girl. <laughs> what? Yeah. You better run for your life, little girl, if I catch you with another man. Like, <laughs> how old is this little girl? Fab. Then you got this, uh, <laughs> this classic. <laughs> every bond you break, every breath you take. I'm, I'm gonna be watching you. <laughs> like, <laughs> A little girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's Open all. your blinds a little wider. Every single day. Every single. <laughs> Every and then word you the, okay, the one Jesse. that always bugs me the most is this one. This is the last one. It's uh, I put a spell on you. Yeah. Because you're mine. <laughs> Talk about setting women back. <laughs> <laughs> I put a shock collar on you and a tracking device. <laughs> I put a burka on you. <laughs> All right, too real, too much. <laughs> I wish I had Jesse's girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was cool. That was dope. <laughs> Those are the audience is getting it by satellite. It takes a while, and then they're, oh, yeah. They're on their so phones. <laughs> It is funny when you hear something on the radio and you go, I've never heard it that way before, but that Beatles song, you're like, yeah, it's got a fun little upbeat yeah. about killing a girl. She cheats on her. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a different time. For that police song, the I'll be... Or I'll we be watching yeah, yeah. 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 Dun, 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 dun. It's so creepy. Yeah. yeah, you listen to all the Maroon 5 songs and they're all... Morrissey used to do that with the Smiths where everything's all cheerful, and uh, but it's always like, if I could just leave you after one more night. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, the man fantasy. Oh. What, is it, what is the One More Night song again? Um, the one more night. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. No, the Maroon 5 one. Um, Where he's... God bless it. People at home are Googling it. You <laughs> moron. It's the Maroon 5 song. It's the I don't one more night. Yes. Pull it up. Wow. Yeah, but it's just one of those like cheery, you know, but I'm going to leave here. You're right. But, but it feels so good. I know all the words, but I can't remember the melody. It's the story of my life. Like, uh, yeah, I, everything's okay when I'm inside you, but the rest of the time I want to kill you. Oh, and in the video, he's a boxer. Yes. And with a baby. Um, and the oh, God. Uh, this is a newer one. Uh, my brain's going to get stuck. That was like, there was a couple podcasts back where we were thinking of Chicago's 25 to 6 to 1. Six to yeah, yeah, I tried to do that. Dude, and, it was like, and all I remember you was like... You and I go da, da, hard da, da, on, at each other like we're going to war. Oh. You and yeah. I go rough. You and I go hard. I can't sing yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like each other. Like yeah. God, yeah, this is, this is, this is dysfunctional. It's such a cheerful song. But yeah. Wow, you kicked the melody. Oh. Yeah, that's a hard one. It's, yeah. yeah, I could sing it lower. Sorry, I'm Weinstein. Oh. But I dust my heart and I hope to die. Because oh I only stay But I think we get the point, day. yeah. That finally got there. <laughs> no, I've told he has to squeeze his times. balls the whole time he sings. <laughs> you and I go home. I'm reading these lyrics and I'm starting to feel really bad about myself, you guys. <laughs> Damn you, Adam Levine. Oh, but yeah. just, yeah, it's a creepy song. They're all like, they're all cheerful melodies with really like, like creepy lyrics and depressing the creepiest love song i've ever heard are you familiar with the band say anything mm -mm. there's this guy uh, i don't know the name i can't remember the name of the main singer but he has a song uh, called alive with the glory of love and it is about uh i believe it's about two kids falling in love in a concentration camp oh, oh my god <laughs> yeah 
All right, so Jason, you want to plug anything? <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact. Where can I'm we gonna, find you? We I'm going to our... be on a cruise ship if you're on the Carnival Cruise Line. That's uh, next week. All right. Uh, where are you online so our, our oh, audience yeah. can... Jasonlove.com. That's my name, Jason Love. Jason Love, and go to go to jasonlove.com and find him and follow him on Instagram yeah, and YouTube yeah. and Twitter yeah. and Facebook. Facebook. Not yep. Snapchat, that's for like 12 year olds. Right? Don't snap, Jason Love. Don't even think about snapping me. And uh, go see them. Jason in a city near you for us. Guys, keep uh, keep tuning in if you're watching live on YouTube. Thank you for watching thank live. You, thank you. If you're listening on iTunes, every Monday at 2 p.m., we go live on iTunes on the Flappers Flappers channel, Flappers comedy channel. Flappers. Flappers. Flap, 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 birds. Bring it back. Flappers comedy YouTube channel. You can see us streaming live every Monday at 2 p.m. And please, please go to iTunes, subscribe, and take a second to review the podcast. Yeah. And we will actually read your reviews, and we will write a song about you Song-ified. and your review. You and your review. Um, but please follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, read our tweets. Each week we put a new flyer up. But uh, thank you so much for listening, as always. It has been Sean Fisher, and I'm Kristen Key. And always, thank you so much for listening to... Songs in the Key of Funny. Funny songs and the stories behind them. Thank you.